Hi everyone. I'd like to look at how rooms are generating when we've got walls with openings around them. In this case I've got three buildings with one room in each. The one is for wall profile edit. Uh, this interior wall over there is what we're going to edit. This one we're going to use a wall opening. And with this one we're just going to use an empty door. And let's see how this works. So this is the wall profile edit. Here we can see the section, short section there, and there's another section throughout the length of the building where we can see how the room is generating. <coughs> and we can see we're working on this area over there. Alright, so let's see what happens. Let's go into a side view and edit the profile. And for argument's sake that I want to have a door opening that looks something like that. I'm going to delete the base, split the bottom of the wall, trim into corner, and accept. There we can see there's an opening in the wall and suddenly the room propagates straight through it. So as soon as we do this and we edit the wall profile, And set that to the base and the the room escapes for want of a better word right so we don't want that if it doesn't intersect with the base then it stays contained within the space the room stays, stays contained within the four walls so if you want to use this method then make sure that the boundary that you create doesn't intersect with the base of the wall because as soon as you do it will fail great so what we're looking at now is the second instance it's the building in the middle and we're going to have a look at using a wall opening this one's a bit strange in that it works to start with and we create the wall opening can see the opening is in line with the base there but note what happens when we change the top offset going up to level 2 to 0 in other words it's on to level 2 so it's fully from level 1 to level 2 the opening goes and then it doesn't bound the room anymore and even setting the base of uh, the top offset back to even more than what it was originally doesn't fix the problem. However, choosing a base offset of say 100, that will fix it. I think I got it down to a minimum of 5 in Revit 2021. Possibly 4. Going down to 3 mil. And it fails. Alright. So you still open yourself up to an error if you fiddle with the definition of the wall opening. There you can see the room generation fails. In the last instance we're going to have a look at using a door family without any architraves or panels or uh, hardware associated with it. And that's what you can see in front of you at the moment. We've got the host, the wall, and then we've got no geometry whatsoever for this door. However, looking at the top level, we've got a width that we can indicate for the opening, as well as a height, which we can indicate as well. All right. So we're going to load that into project and close. And let's have a look at this. Here we've got our different views. We've got our 3D view. We are looking specifically at this case at the end so we'd like to have a door over there there's the empty door family dragging it in and I'm placing it in that wall if I want to change the width or the height all I need to do is edit the type duplicate give it a new name let's suppose 2500 by um, let's make it 1200 millimeters by 2500 millimeters 
and then we just have to remember to change the dimension. So the width is going to be 1 200 and the height 2 500. Okay. And we can see how it's increased in size. In addition to that, you can see how the opening is all the way down to the floor. And what's also great about it, let's close these wheels, open these ones over here. You'll see that the room is still bounded. So that's wonderful. That's exactly what we want. So from now on, I'm going to use a door family to indicate the openings. One last thing I forgot to do, of course, as I can see in the side view, is that this family has some detailed lines in them. So let's just take those out. Have a look in exterior view. That detail line there and that detail line there I remove completely. Save, load into project and close. Yes. And there those detail lines are gone. So that now looks great. So from here onwards, to save myself any grief in future, I am going to use empty door families because they're always going to bind my rooms into the correct areas. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, blog. Good luck with your geometry and the bounding of rooms. And hopefully this blog will help you uh, not to experience the same issue as what I have when I link my structural model in.